Hello YouTube, I hope you're doing well. Today we're on code.org, we're in Unit 5, Lesson 11, Part 6. It tells us this program imports data from the state's table and filters it. The top part filters to get only the states that have been added to the United States since the year 1900. It tells us to update the program to print the list of states that have a population of less than 1 million. It says use the code that filters the states by their admission date as an example. So let's go ahead and look and see what we have going on here. First, I'm going to go ahead and just run the code to see what happens. All right, and it prints to the console the states that have been added since the year 1900. At the very top of this program, we can see that it's pulling information from a table. If we click on the data tab in US states, we can see here this list, and it has things like the state name, abbreviation, and as I scroll through, there's quite a bit of information here. Currently, the columns that we care about is the population, the state name, and the admission year. Let's go ahead and go back to our code. So it's pulling that information. Then it gives us this list that's empty called since 1900. We also have two variables created, one for state and one for year. And then on line 11, we have a for loop we have I set at zero, and what it does is it looks through that entire table that we looked at, starting with the first index, which would be Alabama. It looks at the variable to see if the number is less than the length of the list. If it does, it runs through the code here, and after it's done looping through, it goes ahead and adds one to the variable so that it goes on to the next one. And it does that until that number is no longer less than the list here. So the first thing it does is it populates both the variable state and year with the state and year at that specific index. It then looks at the year that was brought in. It looks to see, is that number greater than 1900? If it is, it goes ahead and appends the since 1900 list right here with that state name. Here we see that it prints out this statement and then it prints off all of the states that it recorded in the since 1900 list. Then it creates a brand new variable looking back at that table and it's looking for the population. We are given the small population list and it's empty and what we're going to do is we're just actually going to recreate what's going on above in this for loop. So let's go ahead and collapse this and we'll collapse this just so we can see more of what's going on. They've already given us the state and population variables. So what we're gonna do is we're going to bring in the if statement and drag that here. Within this if, what we're looking to do is look at this variable, population, and we're looking to see is that less than the number one million. We don't wanna add commas to this, we're just looking at the number without the separators. We'll click out of that just so that it does that comparator there. So it's gonna to look to see that. If that's true, what do we want to do? Well, we want to append this list. So let's go to our variables. We'll go to append item. The list is small population list. I'm just actually going to copy using control C and paste this list here using control V. And then right here, we're going to put the state so that it prints the state name in the console. So what we set up here is this. For the code that we updated, it went ahead and created two new variables. It's populating both the state and the population based upon the table that we saw before at the specific index. It's then pulling in the population at that index and comparing it against the number 1 million. If it's less than a million, what it does is it populates that state name within the small population list. If that's not true, it just moves on to the next index and it runs through that entire list until the variable number here is no longer less than the length of the state list. Let's go ahead and run our code and see what happens. And we can see here at the bottom that our code worked. It went ahead and put out the list of states that have less than a million. When you're done, go ahead and click finish.